Columnist and LGBT activist Dan Savage wrote an article for a publication called The Stranger where he basically told liberals to get over it about Hillary's past on gay marriage. So Tulsi Gabbard has announced that she's running for president in 2020. So I didn't know this until recently, but she used to be anti-gay. Now, I don't like that alone. Virtually every politician in the United States has been anti-gay at one point or another. It's not about, hey, why, only why did you take so long to come to the proper side of it? It's about this is an indication of who Hillary Clinton is and who she'll be moving forward. And the idea is, hey, she's not really uh, principled and she's not really uh, issue oriented and focused because if she was, perhaps she would have came around sooner because, you know, you go back far enough prior to like 2008 and every poll of the American people was overwhelmingly anti-gay. Now, that's not an excuse to say, oh, it is what it is. No, it's still bad. And with that kind of mindset you are much more likely to abandon your principles and be swept up in a heat of the moment kind of thing. But at least it's something that, um, you know, is not like out of the ordinary bad. But what is out of the ordinary bad is, it wasn't just that she was anti-gay, she was kind of virulently anti-gay. Now, she's not anymore, let's be clear, not anymore. Um, and in fact, her voting record is pro-gay. So, it, look, it's not about, hey, it took her a long time to get to the right issue. It's about, what does that signal to us moving forward? It signals that it's not, she's not doing it based off principle. She's doing it based off the political feeling of the time and whatever's expedient at the time. And that explains a lot about Hillary Clinton. That explains why. But she did have, you know, I read some of the quotes and I was cringing. Some of them were talking about, quote, homosexual extremists. Damn. But you determine how much you want to hold that against her because this is an instance of, like, genuinely evolving on it. I don't think it was because of political, simply political reasons. But it's more about political expediency. And it's more about testing the political winds and saying, okay, which way is it going to go? And that way, oh yeah, I'm, with, I'm with on this side. That, let me tell you, man. <laughs> totally, totally. I think at some point she actually realized, like, no, I don't agree with this. I think this is wrong. And uh, I'm not going to take... I'm not going to take this position anymore. Bernie Sanders came to the correct position 40 years before Hillary Clinton. 40 years. But I do think it's, it's okay to bring it up. Like some people would say even bringing up the fact that she used to be anti-gay is a smear. I don't think it's a smear. I think that uh, it's a piece of information that, and people could judge accordingly as to whether or not they think that's something that's like, you know, um, totally out of bounds and, and disqualifies her in their mind. When you have a choice in a primary election between one candidate who has the record to back it up and the other candidate who's more, eh, I'll get around to it, maybe, kind of, on some issues. There is no choice there. There is no debate there.